So we're going to need to create another empty and call it game manager. So we'll go right here, create empty, game manager. And what we can do next is create a game manager script. So I'm going to copy this. You can go ahead and pause and copy. Pause and copy. And this one's a little longer. Pause and copy. Pause and copy. Pause and copy. Pause and copy. So if you're using your own code uh, that ChatGPT is generating from your own prompts, you can just hit copy like I'm doing here. And we'll go into Unity. And we need to right click, create, scripting, empty C sharp script. This one's called Game Manager. Make sure you have that capital M and the capital G there. So I'll double click on my Game Manager code. And now I just need to paste the code that ChatGPT gave me into Game Manager. So after that's pasted, I'll do File and Save. And then I can go back into Unity. So back in the chat GPT here, um, we've, we're now done with step five, the game manager. Scroll down here. So step six is setting up the UI. So before we get into setting up the UI, because it didn't give us a whole lot of information the way I wanted it to, as far as setting up the UI, it gave us a brief overview. We'll uh, copy step six like this. We'll do a copy and paste into chat GPT, asking it to give us a detailed step-by-step -step on how to set this up but before we do that we're gonna skip ahead to step 7 just so we can finish uh, with the code and everything and then we'll move on to the UI elements so what we need to do is add collision detection so it says add a player collision script to the player so we can copy this code here or you can pause and copy And what we need to do is go ahead and make a player collision script and attach it to the player. So we'll go into scripts, create, sc scripting, C sh empty C sharp script, name it player collision. And then I'll go ahead and double click that. I'll just go ahead and paste the code that chat gave me right into here. File and save the script. Go back into Unity. So now we need to select our player object up here and we need to just scroll down and we'll find our player collision code and drag that right onto the player in the inspector. So now we should have a player controller script and a player collision script. And you can see that there's some stuff here we need to add um, from the game manager. Uh, so we'll, we'll add this here. So it says game manager, we need to select this and it's saying none. Um, so we may need to set some stuff up. We'll get back to this in a moment here. So at the bottom of this step seven here, it says we need to tag the falling object as falling object. So we need to go to inspector, tag, and add a new tag and call it falling object. So we'll grab our falling object here, we'll scroll up. So right now the falling object is untagged in the inspector. We'll hit this drop down arrow here. We'll do add tag, plus to add a new tag and we'll call this falling object and we'll go ahead and hit save so then we can select our falling object here and go to the inspector and now you should see this falling object option we'll go ahead and select that we'll go ahead and hit file and save okay so before we go ahead and work on these UI elements it's telling us to build and test the game so if we go to unity right now and we just hit play it's going to compile things and then it's going to take us to the game view. We can see that it's nothing's really happening. There's not anything falling down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back go back into ChatGPT and I'm going to say So before I set up my UI, I'd like to test things out. And since we just tested it, we can already we can give it some information here. I'll say when I pressed play, the 
there were no falling objects and the circle was positioned near the cube. I'll say, should we make the circle a prefab? And I'm just going to see what it says. So it says, yes, the falling object circle should be a prefab to allow the spawner to instant, instantate multiple co copies dynamically. So that's what I thought. So like I mentioned earlier, so it says, here's how you can fix it. So in the hierarchy, find the falling object circle and we'll drag it into project window assets folder to create a prefab and then delete the original one from the hierarchy. So what we need to do is we need to go into unity and under assets we're going to create a new folder here just to stay organized create folder and we're going to name this prefab or prefabs whatever you prefer and I'm going to go ahead and double click that folder. So my falling object with that selected I'm going to go ahead and drag it right down into this prefabs folder and you can see that it's now created a prefab of the falling object. So I can go ahead and select the falling object and I'm going to go ahead and delete it. And don't worry, it's still here. We've got this prefab. So I'm going to go back into Unity, or I'm sorry, back into ChatGPT. So we've created the prefab and we've deleted the original from the hierarchy. So now it says step two, update the spawner script. Now we need to make sure the spawner script is correctly instantiating the prefab. Sorry, that word I cannot say. So spawner.cs. So you can go ahead and pause and copy. I'm going to go ahead and copy this. And I'm going to go into Visual Studio under spawner. And I'm going to paste this new code. So then I'll hit file and save to save that code. And I'll go back into Unity. So we can actually quick jump back into ChatGPT and so it says assign the prefab in Unity, click on the spawner game object. <clears throat> in the inspector, find the spawner script component, drag the falling object prefab into the falling object prefab field. So what we need to do is go to our spawner, the empty that we created here. This is what's going to spawn all the objects. And it looks like we haven't put a script on it yet. So we'll go to script. We've got our spawner code we need to, with our spawner game object selected, the empty game object. We'll go ahead and click the spawner code and drag that right onto it there. And now we can see that there is indeed a falling object prefab. So we'll go to our prefabs folder, select the falling object prefab, and drag that right there onto the falling object prefab slot. So now we'll go ahead and hit file and save and we'll go back into chat before we test this and it's telling us yes to test the game so let's go ahead into unity and we'll go to our game mode and hit play and cross our fingers and let's see what happens okay so we've got some stuff falling now so things are working pretty good this is exciting let's test out this oh there we go oh okay okay so this is level one right now we don't have the time oh <laughs> So there's a there's a little issue that we found here. So currently when we get hit, the game keeps on running and we don't our three lives aren't in place. So what we'll do is and I think some of that could be because we haven't fully set up our UI. Um, so if I uh, select if I select the player here and scroll down, yeah, we can see that there's we haven't attached everything yet um, here. So uh, that, that could have something to do with it. So let me ask ChatGPT here. I'll say it's working, but when the player gets hit, he just falls down. I'll say I noticed in the inspector
there is a game manager slot under the player collision script. What do I need to place in there? And it should know what we're talking about. So I'll go ahead and hit enter. So it says, great to hear the following objects are working. Now let's fix the player falling issue and properly assign the game manager reference. So fix the player falling issue. The player is falling because the rigid body 2D component has gravity scale set to one. Uh, I think it's set to zero. So we did set it to zero. So click on the player. Yeah, we've already done that. We'll just double check it, but I'm pretty sure we've already done that. Yeah, so the, he, I, it misunderstood what I was saying. It, it thinks that I'm saying the player's falling. I guess I forgot to clarify that the player's falling down when he gets hit. Oh, no, I did clarify that, but when the player gets hit, he just falls down. Okay, so let's see. Assign the game manager reference. In your player collision script, there's a public game manager, game manager field. You need to assign the game manager manually in the inspector. So click on the player in the hierarchy. So we'll go ahead and do that. So we've clicked on our player. In the inspector, find the player collision script and locate the game manager slot. Now it says drag and drop the game manager game object into that slot. So here's the slot right here. We need to grab our game manager object and just drag that right in. Uh, it's not gonna let us, and it's probably because the game manager is not a public reference. So we don't have a script on it, the game manager, so that's our issue right there. So game manager, we need to go to scripts, and this game manager script that we've created, we need to drag that on right there. And you can see it's got a lot of stuff for the UI and everything, but we'll add that later when we build the UI. But for right now, we'll go back to our player, we'll scroll down, and now we can grab our game manager, and we can drag that right in. So now it works. So we just forgot to add our game manager script to the game manager empty.